Now, your weather authority forecast. Sponsored by Greenway of the Shoals. A new way, the right way. Greenwayoftheshoals.com. Should be a fun time. Can't wait to see you all. As we take a look at the radar, it's not a fun time on the radar because we've got some wet weather moving through. And in the areas in pink, that's where we're dealing with that threat of ice. And we're already starting to see that creep into far northwestern Lauderdale County and up into some of those southern middle Tennessee counties with that wide check of the radar. Winter weather advisory is in effect until 9 a.m. Wednesday for the counties in purple. Note that Colbert County has now been added. That's the new information I have for you tonight. Wintry impacts that chance of freezing rain in those areas specifically with the threat of some icy patches and we're watching bridges and overpasses in particular for the potential of a glaze of ice. Now as you get closer into Tennessee I would say that's where we start to see the impacts become a little bit greater in terms of maybe a few hundredths of an inch to a tenth of an inch of ice. So we're talking northern Wayne, northern Lawrence, maybe northern Giles County. So the the theme is really as you travel closer to Tennessee and into Tennessee, that's where the risks of ice, those impacts, will be felt the greatest. A lot of it having to do with the overall temperatures of the atmosphere cooling the roads off up in these areas. Pulaski road temperature already down in the lower 30s, mid 30s still in Florence, but look at the blue there in northwestern Lauderdale County. So certainly some impacts could be felt there, especially on those elevated surfaces as they do cool quicker. Just make sure you're using extra caution. In overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Upper 30s to low 40s right now, currently, but look at Fort Payne running milder than the rest of us. It's kind of uh, backwards from what usually happens. They're at 48 right now, forecast in the upper 30s tomorrow morning. 35 in Huntsville, 32 for Muscle Shoals, Athens, and low 30s across southern middle Tennessee, dropping below the freezing mark. Get to the bus stop. It's going to be a cold out there, so they're going to need the heavier coats and also we'll be tracking those damp conditions. We're Looking at the drive into work forecast now, which while we're not expecting widespread precipitation at this point during the commute, but there still could be some low clouds, some fog, maybe even some drizzle around that could limit your visibility. Air temperatures tomorrow are only in the lower 40s with north winds at 5 to 10, but upper 40s for Fort Payne in the Scottsboro area, much of DeKalb County running a little bit higher than the rest of us once again. Here's future cast overnight tonight. We're tracking the threat of some of that rain moving through as well as that freeze. Rain or that ice that will most likely have impacts here across northwestern Lauderdale, northwestern Colbert County, along the border, here all the way up into southern middle Tennessee early tomorrow morning. And then what we're looking at for the rest of the day is the possibility of again some of that fog and drizzle before more showers build back in Wednesday afternoon and evening. That rain will continue into Thursday, but we'll finally dry things out for the end of the week Friday. We'll get some sunshine in here, but not before dumping about one to two inches. Of rain across the Tennessee Valley.